Now let's take this uh, text widgets and try to make them prettier. Inside my this uh, particular text widget, I can give it some style. So there is a property in text widget which we say is style which takes in a text style and it lets you improve on certain things like you can change the font size so you can define this font size property make it 20 so once i do that you'll see like the text becomes bigger we also want to do one more thing since you can see like the text is a lot uh, you know on the side it's touching the bar so i can come back to my text widget and wrap it with some padding which i'll set it to 10 and if i'll save this uh, really quickly you'll see like now it has a padding on its side which makes it more prominent uh, let me also minimize this so you can see changes as they come with the bottom text too i want to do something but uh, let me first wrap it with the widget call this align widget now align widget lets us uh, what it what it lets us do is create the alignment so i can set the alignment property for my this widget by typing in alignment and using alignment meant dot i'll set it to bottom right if i'll save this file really quickly you'll see like the text uh, for this name of the author who uh, who has said this code go to the right of this particular screen which is really cool which is something we want like the code should appear here the name of the author right here and i can also modify this text widget uh, instead of directly putting in the author name i can use a dash and then use dollar for string interpolation and type in the variable name with that done if i'll save this file you'll see like a small dash appear here before the author name let us also make it a bit bigger so i'll have to specify the style property which i'll set to text style and this should take in uh, the font size which i'll again make a bit bigger let us say 15 so that it's not as big as the top text but it is big enough to be visible if I save this file really quickly, you'll see like it's a bit bigger. Let us make it a little more. So I'll set it to 18. All right. So you have this author name appear here, but you see if this is a lot touching the. So I'll also have to wrap this with some padding. Wrap with padding. But instead of doing a all, let us only do a only. We only want padding on this right side. So I'll set the right. for this particular widget to 10 now if i save this file you'll see like it appear a bit uh, to the left which is due to the padding now we are able to get a code we'll be able to show it with the author name which is really cool if i go back i'll say go to next screen and it should get me a new code with the author name but again you can see the padding is still here the text looks good uh, the author name is where we want it to be which is what we wanted to do so we were able to create a new widget which takes in some variables and it builds somewhat the same ui for all the data that it gets if i want to go back to my home screen i'll make a few change like instead of making it go to next screen uh, as was in our navigation tutorial let us say get quote which should appear better so if i save this file come back it should say get quote which you can click and it should just show this quote on screen which is like the major part of the application so we are able to get data of the internet we are able to navigate to a new page we are able to pass this data save it in a variable and pass these variables to the next widget which is a lot of things that we are doing and we are able to build the ui too like we're able to make it uh, prettier you can also go a bit step further wrap it in containers and give it a gradient to make it much better uh, but that is for a more advanced tutorial so what we wanted to achieve with this is show you how you can get data uh, we want to be able to update this data on the same screen.